right, here is the Drukari rating force for today's game. We have a detachment of Yanari, Incarn, Succubus. Um, the Succubus has the Walker Many Paths Whirler trait, so regaining a CP spent on a 5-up. You got a squad of 5 Cavalite Warriors with a Blaster. You got 5 Witches, a Shardnet in there, an Impaler. You got 10 uh, Incubi, and that is the Yanari Patrol. Then we've got Prophets of Flesh. We have 3 Talos. We have Drezar the Master of Blades himself. We got the Homunculus with Vexator Mask, uh, Diabolical Soothsayer. And then we have a squad of five racks. And then we have a Dark Technomancer Coven. So you've got two Venoms, two Reapers. Um, about to be able to convert those to Reapers. Proper light, but they're not yet, so they are still Raider bodies. You got five racks with the Hex Rifle and Ossifactor. You got five Scourge and a little old school Homunculi. And that rounds out 1999 points. Couldn't quite do 2,000 on the nose. It's very, very sad. But there we have it. All right, so I got Justin here. Uh, iron hands. Yes. Just straight up iron hands, right? Yep, yep. So it's going to be a little uh, interesting. This. So here we go. We're going to run through this list and see what my Drukari are going to take on today. So I have a... My Warlord is a Chapter Master. Captain with uh, Thunder Hammer, Combi Melta, Angel's Artifice, Paragon of Iron. So he also has um, Flesh's Weakness. So he has a five up, feel no pain, and a defender of humanity, so he's an anti-character character. character. Mm -hmm. And I have a tech marine with combi melta and omniscient power axe. I have another captain in my second patrol with uh, relic, blade, and storm bolter. And I have a chaplain with plasma pistol and crozius. Got an apothecary, he's been upgraded so that he can do the... Uh, <clears throat> of course. The, he's been upgraded so he can do the heal twice. And uh, he's been given Hero of the Chapter, so he can do the Revive for free. Uh, by the way, this captain has been also given Hero of the Chapter, and he takes Rite of War, which means characters have Obsec around him. Ooh. And uh, this guy is just a Banner Ancient with Power Sword. Over here, Company Veterans, uh, the regular Veterans with Power Swords and Storm Shields, and the Veteran Sergeant with Power Fist and Storm Shield. Over here... I got one tax squad with sergeant with plasma pistol, chainsaw, and then a specialist with melta gun. And then back here, uh, the sergeant just with a bolter, and then a heavy weapons guy with a missile launcher. And back there, got the trusty Thunderfire with his tech marine gunner. And then the meat of the army. Sorry for the unpaintedness, but a venerable dreadnought with last cannon and dreadnought melee weapon. A Contemptor Dreadnought with Karis Assault Cannon and a Dreadnought Melee Weapon. A Derrideo Dreadnought with Anvilus Auto Cannon Batteries and his Anvilios Missile Launcher, whatever it's called. And then a uh, Leviathan Dreadnought with two Thunderfire Cannons and Flamers. Thunderfire or Storm Cannon? Uh, they're called Storm Cannon Arrays, yeah. yeah. And then a Drop Pod with uh, Dread Missiles or whatever they're called. Yeah, the missile, missile. the missile version of the drop pod. That's it. Interesting. And he happens to be <laughs> 2,000 points on the nose. On the nose. Don't want to be alarmed, but I'm alarmed. It's going to be amazing. Uh, yeah, very different style list here. Um, we'll put up the secondaries picked on the screen, but um, I had engage on all fronts. I took bring it down and priority targets, which... We need to put the objective markers on the board, but it is the priority targets mission number 33. Um, so after we're done with deployment, we'll have the objective markers on and we'll cover that a little more. Um, and then he has engage on all fronts as well. Priority, priority targets, targets. And oath of the moment. Oath of the moment, that's right. Because, you know, space marines, and why not? Space marines, just why not? Yeah, so this will be fun. I'm, I am eagerly yeah. awaiting the new codex for Mr. Drukari forces here, but until then, we're going to see if we can hold something up against these old iron Hold heads. the doors. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Kitchen Table Wargaming Battle Report. Iron Hands have deployed over here. We've got a Thunderfire back hiding out of line of sight because, you know, he can shoot backwards and still hit the other side of the table. They're cool mm -hmm. like that. You got your company bodyguards, company veterans. Company veterans. veterans yes. And then a host of characters, a host of dreadnoughts, mechanized death, in a small bubble. Uh, his drop pod contains two tax squads and they will do what drop pods do. 
that is their side of the board over yonder. With the priority targets, you shift all four corner objectives. So this one got scooted back. Um, that one I picked to scoot forward because I was the defender, so he got to move one first. Center one stays put. This one, he scooted forward, and then I pushed the other one back. You know, kind of did the same thing. It's not surprising. Um, won the roll off for the deployment zones, but they were pretty well identical, so that didn't matter much. But I did spread things out. So I have a Venom with Cabalite Warriors there, some Racks, a Monculus, Incarn, more Racks, a Succubus, two Reapers, and then you've got the Venom up here with the Witches, Homunculus, and the Talos. In the Deep Strike, or the Webway, excuse me, we have the Ten Incubi and Drezar. And then on winged deployment, I don't remember what they actually call it, but the scourges are in their winged deep strike thingamajigger. Um, so that's that. We have finished our deployments. Uh, let us grab a dice and roll for the first turn. <laughs> Go ahead, be the guest. Oh, geez, I need to stop letting guests roll first. I don't know. Yeah. Would you like to go first or second? I would actually like to go first. Ah, shocked, I'm sure. We'll be back at the end of Iron Hands, turn one. Oh yes, the end of Iron Hands turn one. Uh, the advance of all the plodding machines and the captain with the smashiness and everybody else back here has moved around and done their shuffles. Um, failed your litany that you wanted. On the yeah, I wanted litany place. of faith. Yes, that it didn't matter. It would help maybe get some of your mortal wounds. Yes, I don't have tons of those in this turn. I'll have a few. Um, but then the drop pod landed over here on this objective and... Uh, Pushed him up into my lines a bit. Then my Venom died. Three of my Cabalite Warriors died. So the Incarn said, Hello, puppets! And popped up here when the Venom died. Uh, my Rax died. The Homunculus scooted back. They actually, all but one died and then failed morale. That was disappointing. Uh, took wounds off of this. Nothing else was hurt um, yet because some of his things didn't really have line of sight on the juicy targets they wanted or range. So that's probably not going to last much longer. So he scored three for priority objectives and um, I think that was it for this turn. So he's at three points and I didn't plan on losing a Venom quite so fast or a squad of racks. So it's kind of sad. Um... We'll see what we do now. So we're uh, moving into the movement phase and uh, turn one for the Drukhari. All right, the Drukhari turn is over. Uh, Mr. Incarn made his charge and did a lot of killing and slaying. These guys made the charge also, but then there was nothing left to fight. So they consolidated in. They can, no, they don't even get to contest the objective yet, but you know, if they survive the turn, then there's a chance. Um, the drop pod, as you can see, is no more, thanks to a Reaper. I was proud of it. It did 16 wounds. Yes, it was very nice. He shrugged a few. Uh, we did a mortal wound over on Big Boy here, who is also a character. I don't remember if we said that out loud earlier, but, uh, the gaze of Enid did one whole wound on him. Uh, these guys took some shots. Um, I thought you lost I did two. Oh, you lost two, I think. I had to roll covers. Uh, no, feel no pains. Yeah, but you failed. Oh, okay. Um, <coughs> he it to you, shot it to somebody. Me. Yeah, he did his feel no pains. I just, I don't remember all that good stuff going on. Over here, uh, these guys all moved up. The Venom came up, took that objective. Um, we did some wounds on the Venerable Dreadnought. He's down to three, thanks to the Haywire from the Talos. But that was about it. Um, over here, we fired and faded with one Reaper. And the homunculus kind of scooted back out of line of sight for ish for now until he moves around. So that's it. Scored engage on all fronts. Oh, black cornucopians on the squad of racks. Way back there. Yeah, see? At the end of my finger. Yes. Um, so they got me engaged on all fronts for all four corners and failed their charge, which would have been kind of fun to tie up the tech marine at Thunderfire Cannon back there and to steal the objective. But I didn't. Um, but that's okay. Uh, the Talos also failed their charge. I went for the Long Bomb 11 inch charge just for the grins and it didn't work, but it was fun. Anyways, that's the end of the turn. So, Drukhari have the lead by three <laughs> until the Iron Hands mow down what's left of my army with their firepower. So, we'll be back after turn two.
Okay, the end of the turn. Um, the Incarn actually teleported over here when the Venom died, um, and then took a last cannon to the face that it could not dodge. It was very disappointing. It could not shrug, and he rolled six damage, and it, it was it all went bad. Okay, yeah, that was fun. Uh, Mr. Smash Captain did manage to kill a Cavalite Warrior, because, you know, that's what a guy would do. He shot one with a Melta, then killed it, and then he smashed one, like, five times with a hammer. It was great, I guess. Uh, these guys all moved around this way. This is the Contemptor. Is that yes. right? He shuffled down that direction to get shots off on the racks. Um, moved around over here, got some uh, engage on all fronts with the Derrideo. And slowed down the... Uh, yeah, slow down the Talos, the Thunderfire Tremor shell things. That was their Tremor shell? Tremor shell. Yeah, that was, I'm disappointed by that. It's probably a smart thing to do. Um, that's about it. So it was not exactly a stellar turn for the Drukari, but we will bring in the Incubi and Drezar, the Master of Blades, and a Scourge, and uh, we might be able to do some cheeky scoring. I don't know. It is interesting. The Incarn dying was not per the plan, probably, I don't know. I'm not sure there's any way, nothing would have changed the outcome there. If I'd stayed over here instead of jumping and just stayed in combat with the smashy captain guy, probably would have died and would still have taken all the shots from the dreadnoughts. So it is what it is. Um, oh, the Leviathan did four damage on the Incarn first. So that's where the all the damage came in. Anywho, end of Iron Hand's turn two. I'll be back with her to the Drukari turn two. All right, so the end of the Drukari. Turn two has been interesting. So we had Drezar and Incubi deep strike in here, charged into the captain, grandmaster guy, I mean, chapter master dude in here. The Incubi killed him um, without even all their attacks. The guys here dodged some bullets because we really put all of our firepower over here. Killed the Contemptor, who was also a character, so we got the assassinate points. Over here, we charged in with the Talos. Um, the Duty Eternal on the Vendred kept it alive. The Chaplain over here didn't actually die either. He took one full round of attacks from the Talos that is no longer here because it died to the Chaplain. And uh, it exploded and did a wound on everybody around it, including this Captain here. So it's kind of funny. There's, uh, yeah, that was an interesting mixed bag. The Witches over here. Charged into the Derrideo to shut down shooting in the next turn, or some shooting, I guess they'll take the brunt of that. Homunculus failed his charge, but the Witches and Homunculus are holding that objective back there. The Scourge came in on the Deep Strike, they're the ones that popped the Contemptor. The Rats moved forward and then charged into the Tech Marine and Thunderfire Cannon to slow that down a bit, and that worked out well. Plus, taking this objective became priority targets for five points. So we scored engaged on all fronts, we scored priority targets, we held, we both held two at the beginning of this turn, um, so that was, uh, it's still even almost, it's like 30 to 30 basically at this point in the game. Um, uh, the Reapers shuffled, that was about all they did, they didn't really get a lot done, um, just kind of moved around, took some pot shots, and yeah. That was that. So we'll see what happens here. Iron Hands turn three. A lot of the shooting got tagged. Uh, a lot of the shooting is still also very viable. So find out what Justin does in his turn three. We'll be back soon. Okay, Iron Hands turn three. Came in hot. Did a bunch of wounds on Drezar. The Incubi in the building. Um... <laughs> Took a beating from the combat company veteran, veterans. company of veterans. Those guys are dirty. And the ancient all came in, spent his command point on the wisdom of the ancients for this leviathan. So everybody was rerolling once. It was it was ugly. I, la I lasted out, outlasted, whatever. I ended the combat. That's the word I'm looking for with one guy, the Clavex, and he rolled a one on morale and passed. It was glorious. Probably shouldn't have happened, but it did. Um, I did actually have three Incubi in total left at the end of their fight, so we um, activated and killed the Ancient. Um, not overkilled him, but killed him, and then he got back up on a four and killed the two Incubi. So, but it was interesting. It was good. 
Over here, Captain and Chaplain made their charges. Neither were in combat at the end of last turn uh, into the Talos. They actually powered up and killed both of them this turn, which was appreciated by me. So I got a few um, points for assassinate. My poor witches got shot to death. Uh, you know, mean. He thankfully failed his charge. A lot of wounds were taken on just about everything. The Homunculus went down a few wounds. Um, everybody's kind of been hurt a little bit here and there. This Talos is on two wounds left. Um, the only things that didn't take more wounds this turn were the Reapers. And that was just because a Hunter Killer failed a wound. Oh, I also lost another rat. We're back in the corner. I still have two. Um, so they're going to keep hanging out there and causing trouble. So yeah, end of the turn for the Iron Hands. They still have a lot of big shooty things, but I've been able to get some stuff in combat and slow things down a little bit. So we will come back at the end of Drukari turn three. All right, so the end of the Drukari turn three. Uh, Drezar made a charge around to here, killed three of the company veterans. Yeah, I think that's what they're called. Um, and then the Clavex did not do anything. It was kind of disappointing. Without Drezar's minus or plus one to wound, he bounced off those storm shields. Um, Leviathan, I didn't put anything into it the whole game, which is unusual. I usually try to kill those really fast, but he did the business when he needed to. Uh, the Talos, we killed the Apothecary. The Talos. And the last turn, I guess, killed off the captain and chaplain, so I don't think that's new. Um, the homunculus came in, did some damage, took some damage. We got this tech marine down to two, but it wasn't quite enough uh, to get rid of him. The Vendred, tech marines, can I say, healing everything that's a vehicle for flat three when they need to. Kept that Vendred alive many times over. I was very disappointed. Uh, I did lose a Talos in combat. Um, over there, and then over here, these racks fell out of combat, and we shot the Thunderfire Cannon. Was going to shoot the Tech Marine to max out my um, assassinate and realized he was too far away. <laughs> Whoops, but the Apothecary wasn't, so it worked out. The Scourge over here moved around and supercharged, killed one of their own number with their ones to wound, and brought this thing down to three, but it was not a very spectacular wound roll. So, in the end, um, that's where we stand. The score was 72 to 42. Um, I don't know. Justin had some maneuverability, some ways to play for the rest of the points. We're not sure how it would play out, but a 30-point deficit might have been rough to come back from. Uh, so we're going to have to call it. He's going to have to run. Uh, but thank you, sir. Appreciated mm -hmm. that. Enjoyed fun. the game. Yeah. It was a lot of fun. Last yeah, the last game didn't go so well with, uh, between our two armies. But this was fun. This is the first time I've run my Drukari against your Iron Hands. Yeah. And this, I have to say, this Dreadnought Heavy list was pretty dirty. It's just too low on CP. I'll have to work something out. Yeah, that, that hurt because you were starting the game at four. Yeah. Um, that definitely caused some trouble. This little building right here, we named it the Slaughterhouse because... So many things died. Lots and lots of things just got shredded inside those four walls. It was kind of entertaining kind of ugly but yeah there we go so it's been a, a fun little battle thank you sir appreciated mm -hmm. that and uh, we'll catch you later thanks for watching